Alright, welcome to a Sunday evening stream. Not salty Sundays, sorry to disappoint, but yeah, welcome to a Sunday stream nonetheless. Hope you're all feeling good tonight. I'm feeling fine. Hopefully you won't hear my air conditioner going on in the background. Like, the heat wave is come and gone, but it still feels a bit warm this evening. Relatively speaking, slightly humid, so I've got my air conditioner just running low in the background. So yeah, Live Alive, I got my copy today. Um, it didn't arrive on time, like it was supposed to arrive on Friday, and I didn't get it then. Uh, technically it arrived yesterday, but I didn't have the time to pick it up yesterday because it doesn't get delivered to my house, it gets delivered to a local collection point. Because sometimes, like because I need to like buzz in the, the, the mailman, so sometimes I'm not there for that. So I just have it delivered to a local collection point and I didn't have the time to go get it yesterday, so I got it today. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the explanation for that. But yeah, I played the demo for Live Alive. We're going to continue with that save file. If you haven't seen my Live Alive demo playthrough, then uh, you can go check that out. Yes, the demo, the save from the demo does carry over into the full game. That was confirmed. Nintendo did. I think Nintendo did mention that during the recent uh, Partner Showcase Direct. Also, hey there Kai. Nice to see you. How are you doing tonight? So after I'm done with this, we are finally going to get back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Do you wish to import the save data? Yes, I do. Right, here is my save data. Or... Wait, no, here's my most recent save. So yeah, we'll be doing Pokemon Legends Arceus after this. Like, I've been meaning to get back to that game to do the post-game content, so if anyone's looking forward to that, that'll be next. We're not even that far off from the next Pokemon game, which is weird to think that we're getting like two giant Pokemon games within a year of each other. But yeah, enough about that. Let's get back to this. So here's my save from before. I did all the chapters in the demo. The in, uh, ancient China, um, Edo Japan, and the distant future, I think, were the three chapters I did. So yeah, here it is. Twilight of Edo Japan, Imperial China, not Ancient China. We also have present day. Prehistory, Wild West, and the near future. So which one do I want to do tonight? Like, I'm gonna do a few of these. Like, just maybe, like, about... I I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, try to evenly spread these out. Why don't we try... Let's try Prehistory. In a forgotten era before kings and kingdoms, a young man comes of age and is given permission by his tribe's stern elder to go forth and hunt together with his best friend Gori. Be threat of spoken words to rely on their senses to survive, in particular, a powerful sense of smell. Guided by their noses, they track game and find shelter, and learn much of the world and its dangers. I really want to check out Wild West, but I'm going to hold off on doing that just for now. I'll check out some of the other ones before I do Wild West. I might not even do Wild West tonight, I might like wait until another time to do that. Depends. Quality voice acting. <laughs> You've been playing this for the last few nights? That's cool. I'm assuming you're much further in the game then at this point. Someone just tied up with ropes. Oh, well, they broke it pretty easily. Hmm? 
I like the idea that this entire segment... Oh god, that's a stock noise if I've ever heard one. I, I love that this entire segment is done just entirely by actions and no dialogue. God, I hate that stock sound effect of, like, moving calls. It sounds like those calls have engines in them, but they're probably just moving by, you know... Peddling with our feet, you know, like you know, you know, like fleeing stones, like that. So, where is the pro tag? Areas. a very realistic looking dinosaur skeleton right there. I do love this HD 2D style. It's really nice. I'm glad to see that Square Enix are doing more with this shit. <laughs> I may eventually check out Dragon Quest 3 when that like comes out, like the remake of it that's being done in this style. I think it was Dragon Quest 3, it's like one of the old ones. I'm just going to keep the names as is, so we'll just keep it as Pogo. You obtain the stick. All right. Oh, it's a monkey fella. Right. Okay. I just real like I thought it was just like a weird like misshapen human, but I mean, yeah. But he's an actual like ape. Oh. to the old wise man, I guess. Okay then. Uh, before I go over there, let's see what's over here. Oh, we got some more equipment. Hilt. Another stick. And what's in here? A hard rock. Oh, we have to guess which one has more. Okay, the one in on the right has more. This is silly. I got a free stick and I got a bone. 
And a beast horn. And a beast thing. Oh wow, I got a lot of stuff. Set dried of a, a set of dried skins. Holy shit. How much stuff did I just got there? Like six different things. I think now would be a good time to actually equip. So let's have a look at what I got. Okay, so stick is worse. That's a resource. Alright. Bone is also a resource. Okay. Right, well, I think I'm all good now. Let's go see the Elder. Okay, bye. <laughs> Seems like he's in here. Don't mind if I steal your shit. Oh. meat. I wonder how much these voice actors got paid just to do like these caveman grunts. How much do you think they got paid to do this? Oh, right, okay. Fire, fire bad. Ow! Fire hot! Actually, before I go up there, let's see what's in that other door to the right. steal all their stuff that I see. Well, at least not touch the meat. Like, I can I can ransack their equipment, but don't touch the meat. Okay, there has to be someone hiding in one of these. Otherwise, why would I be able to poke them? No? Okay, okay then. So there's a lot of cavemen out here. I don't know if interacting with any of them is going to do anything for me. Oh. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? Excuse me? <laughs> Alright, well, he's gone. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Just some gags here and whatnot, I guess. Since there's no dialogue. That guy just keeps tripping over himself. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That face that he did just now is amazing. That face right there. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to like zoom it in so that you can actually see him. It's harder than it looks. Let's put it in the middle, actually. Let's try that. Right, look at his mouth. There we go. That was what I wanted. I feel like that could possibly be a thumbnail thing. Mm. 
I'm guessing this is blocked off for now. Yeah. Okay. Can I run? No, I guess this is my maximum running speed. Well, it's certainly an interesting way to start off the game. Also, I'm having a hard time, like, thinking about, like, there being, like, an elder caveman. Like, didn't cavemen, like, die in the, like, 20s or something? Or at least... I don't know. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't buy the idea that, like, back in the day of cavemen, like, they lived that long. I mean, didn't people, like, a couple centuries ago live to their, like, late 30s at best? I'm probably thinking too much about this, but yeah. Mash the Y button. Okay. Pogo has an extraordinary sense of smell that allows him to hunt game and find other things of interest. Press Y to reveal scent clouds in the vicinity. Okay. Oh, that's that's not the Y button. Ah, there we go. Right time to hunt game. Oh, it's doggos. Wait, we're actually fucking killing doggos in this game? Oh no. Also, I forgot for a minute how the combat works. Oh, okay then. Well, that's an unfortunate couple of numbers that just popped up on screen right now. Did you see that? Oh well, we can just ignore that, I guess, and just beat the shit out of doggos. I love this monkey man's face. <laughs> that was also a good face. And dead. You did it! You gored an innocent animal. Obtained a hunch of meat. Yeah, I probably want to save real quick before we continue. Alright. Oh, we found a deer. Or a doe. Wow, that was quick. Fucking one-shotted. <laughs> what do we have here? Nothing? Okay. Oh. Okay, what's going on with that? Alright, whatever. I'm gonna go back real quick before we continue with this. Oh, I can't leave. Okay then. <laughs> this one right there. Oh. Hmm. 
No. Okay, there is. Some more doggos. No, I want to do, but okay. Shit, uh, fucking feral dogs, I guess, but yeah. Is the monkey man pointing at his ass? I guess he is. Right, I'm assuming I've got enough meat now, so let's go back and talk to him. Actually, what's over here? Oh. Okay, never mind. Hope you're enjoying watching me play this so far. I like how every story is like very unique in like its presentation and style. The most unique ones I've seen so far is this in Twilight of Edo, Japan since those ones, you can approach the game very differently. Right, so... We have all the meat for today, I guess. I'm gonna go back into this room full of cavemen because I need to check something now that I've got the ability to, like, you know, sense things. Oh. Where did everyone go? Alright, never mind then. I was going to try and track down that guy that went invisible, but I guess he's just not here anymore. Guess everybody went to sleep. I'm guessing this is just a day in the life of a caveman, I guess the next day is going to be more interesting. Wake up, hunt for game, go to sleep. Pretty much all they can do. Where did Monkey Man go? Sleepwalking. Alright. I saw you there. Wait, what was that? A flower? Anyway, yeah, so I saw someone there. I'm, t I'm trying to figure out how to get them out. Okay, whatever. Thief. 
Oh, what's this? Monkey man. I guess they want food, but I don't have any foods. Have a fucking stick. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go look for some food then. Well. Sure. Wait, what the fuck? I guess I have to leave and come back, and then they have to eat in it? I don't know. Figuring it out. Yeah, they did. Right, okay. Yeah, this is a weird one. Oh, it's the, it's the, it's that person that ran away from the other tribe, I guess. <laughs> uh oh, love triangle. I think. Maybe. I love how fucking dumb looking the, the ape's face is. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, we're new party member. I like how it just outright replaces the ape as our party member. Whatever his name was. Yeah, you can have a you can have the beast horn. Yep, there you go. What's her name? Did it, did it even say what her name was? I don't think it did. Hmm, I mean, it doesn't really tell you. Maybe it's like one of those things where we get to name her later. I know which direction I'm supposed to be going in, but I'm just going to look around real quick before we continue. You know, because there might be like some secrets. Did we even go in this side room? Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Again, I love the, the quality, like, caveman grunt voice acting that we're getting here. Okay, so he was basically imagining what could happen if he walked into the elder's room with that girl. So yeah, right, I see what's going on now. So that didn't really happen. Hey there, MSP. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me just casually pushing you aside. Just push you like a fucking Zelda puzzle block. Oh. Guess we ain't going that way. Trying to keep away, to, we're trying to find a way to keep this cave girl concealed for the moment, since we can't let anyone else know that she's here. I guess she's gonna have to hide in there, or I guess we can use that as a disguise. Yeah, that works. Again, this is very silly. Goodbye. What the fuck did he just tell him to do? I love how even in the loading screen, like the cave girl is just inside that like that um, straw stuff, whatever you call it. Ladies and gentlemen, history's first simp. <laughs> of course, he would put them closer together. was a thing. Oh. Poke, poke. 
wake up, you dumb shit. Okay, never mind. Oh, he also got knocked out. Hmm. Hey there, Teddy. Guess we're gonna go meat hunting. Do you like Teslas? I'm not really a car person, so I guess not. Wait a minute, why am I being told to go back in here again? So I have to get the meat and then come back. I get it. Why aren't you a car person? I mean... I'm not sure what kind of a question that is. Good mouth. Bone. Is it because you can't drive? I don't know why. I mean, I, yeah, I don't drive, but I, I mean, yeah, the two are correlated, but who cares? Yes, I like something, yes, I totally like something that I don't really have any interest in. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Anyways, I wonder if that guy's... It's one of these guys that go invisible. Hang on. Yeah, this guy. Right, okay, let me try this thing that I did. Try to see if I can find him real quick. No. I guess that doesn't work. Guess not. Okay then. to hunt for some more meat.
Oh. There we go. So my character's name is Pogo and the monkey is called Gori. Which I think is short for Gorilla. Right, after I'm done hunting here, oh that's a big one, Bison Bull. After I'm done hunting here and return it back to the girl, I'm gonna check out another one of these like chapters, another story. Yeah, th I think Pogo might be in trouble right now. Uh oh. Yeah, let's do power kick again. Oh yeah, there we go. Must have got a lot of meat for that one. Stench put to learned. <laughs> yep, you have the ability to learn how to fart at your enemies. Oh. Need to touch these so that I can interact with the next fight. There we go. Don't think I got enough meat yet. Like, I think it will tell me when I've got enough. Turn back on many bad and hurt with big poot. I like how the like the, the like the description is in like caveman speak, like broken English sort of thing. Right, fine, we'll, we'll give it a try. <laughs> the the fact that the enemy just explodes to death makes that even better. Oh, that's good. There isn't that many video games out there that let you fart at your enemies. That's fantastic. I love it. Right, well, Goddy's about to level up. One more fight should do it, I think. Let's go for this one. Ah, dear. We need those. I do love the face that, that Gori makes when he does scary face. Poop throw? Wait, what? D did I read that right? Ho hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Hurt many bad with smelly poop. What, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> Holy shit. Literally. Not only can we fart at our enemies, we can throw shit at them. Right, well this game went from a fucking 8 out of 10 to a fucking 20 out of 10. Oh. We have to- we have to see that now. We have to- we have to throw poop at our enemies. We have to throw smelly poop. As the game describes. I think uh, Joel from Vinesaw should be playing this game. 
It's like the perfect fecal funny game. At least this part of it is. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, that does poison damage as well. And then they explode and die. Oh, jeez. I'm glad that your health goes back up to full after each fight, so that I don't need to constantly heal myself in between bouts. Did I get enough meat? Wait, what do I have? Let me check. Um, inventory. Yeah, I've got a few haunches of meat. I'll tell you what, we'll do one more... I'll do one more fight because I'm close to leveling Pogo up. Oh, there was a stick up there. Right, we'll do this fight then. Okay, so when it showed a question mark, there's like a hidden item nearby. I guess that's what that means. Right, hopefully this fight will do it. Threaten. Barely did anything to me there. Okay, one more, one more fight. Hmm. Oh, I, I, okay, I see. So it depends on your position. Yeah, there we go. Now we can get both of them. This is this is so stupid, but I, I love it. It's so good. Nice. system in this game, it's pretty good. Right, so that should probably be enough for now. Um, I'm just going to go back here. I'm not going to advance the story, but I will go back here just so I remember where to go next time I play this. I mean, if I stand here, I can just talk to that guy and advance the story, so... Let's save there. And... Return to chapter select. Right, okay then, so... Got a good bit of progress done there on the caveman story. 
in prehistory. Which one do I want to do next? I really want to do the Wild West because that seems to be like, I, I love Wild West themed stuff so I'm gonna hold off on that for now. Near future. Well, let's do present day. This feels more like JRPG, like, you know, traditional JRPG sort of setting. To be the world's strongest fighter, the best of the best. A dream shared by many, but one young warrior believes he truly has what it takes to claim the title. By making the skills of other masters his own, he intends to prove himself. Muay Thai, professional wrestling, lucha libre, copo, eh, lucha libre, copo, sambo, and sumo, the most powerful techniques of those story traditions he will learn. All he needs to do is to bait his opponents into revealing their secrets. Yeah. So we're, bas we're, bas we're basically playing as Ryu from Street Fighter essentially, like we're fighting to be the very best, like no one ever was. No matter who they are, every fighter's got the same dream. To be the best of the best. That's why I've decided to go on this journey. my skills to the test. To challenge the world's masters and make their techniques my own. But they're warriors too, walking the same path, striving for the same goal. Heirs to traditions and keepers of knowledge. Probably got plenty of pride. They'll not give up their secrets without a fight. So I'll give them one. Push them to the limit and force them to use their techniques. And when they do, I'll be ready. I'll see everything. with the punches until they throw the ones that count all right so my character's name is Masaru Takahara I'll fight my way to the top and the world will know my name. Masaharu Takahara. Or whatever. Okay. Or maybe I'll fall short in the end. But hey, only one way to find out. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, so who have we got here? Also, is this like set up like a fighting game screen? So, here are our opponents. Some interesting ones here. I don't like that guy's face at the very end there. Also, this guy has like a butt chin. Huh. So, yeah, we get to pick our opponent. Wow, that's, that's a fucking big chungus right there. He almost looks like a Chinese bootleg of Guile from Street Fighter. He's just he's just missing the, the hairdo. <laughs> Max Morgan! Max Morgan, holy shit. What's up, brother? Let me tell you something. 
Uh, let's do let's do the first one first. Okay, so Namik Namikiat from Thailand, I think. Special techniques. Look pen look pen jamma kick and spiral knee. Blessed with the surpassing agility and flexibility, the young man trained day and night, and that he might transform his body into the perfect weapon to become a Muay Thai champion. Those who have faced him in the ring often speak of his divine right foot, which can deliver a blindingly fast knockout blow. Okay. okay. Who's the big chungus? The one on the far right. Having come all the way from Japan. Oh, so there's just more. There's, there's a lot of voice acting as well, which is good. Don't worry, I'll end it quick. You won't even have a chance to lay a finger on me. Round one, fight. In the present day chapter, Masahiro Takahara can learn abilities during battle. When struck by certain enemy attacks, she will immediately acquire and be able to use them. Bait your opponents into using the most powerful techniques and turn their power against them to be the world's best. Alright. So what do I have to begin with? Gill Strike. Punch an enemy with enough force to shatter 30 tiles. Uh, rolling Wheel Kick. Disorient an enemy with a Whirling Kick to the head. Focus. Clear your head to restore a small amount of HP. Remove all detrimental status effects and harness your strength. All right, I have Spiral Knee now. Okay, this is a cool idea. Charge an enemy and deliver a flying knee kick to the face. This just sounds like Street Fighter music. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can not miss this time. There we go. Let's finish this. Right, so they're resistant to their own moves. I think it's going to be working Mega Man style, where it's like each like enemy I fight against has a weakness to another person's attacks. So the Spiral Kick is probably going to be really effective against someone else that I'm going to be fighting later. They're not resistant to that though. So you're not all talk. Nothing personal. Ouch. Yeah. Okay, cool, I got that move now. Oh nice, I got a free counter. Kick it up a notch. Spiral knee. Oh wait, that's not the one. Um, look Panjama kick. Attack slash reaction. Leap into the air and knock an enemy back with a spinning kick. Let's give that a try. They're resistant to it, but it might be strong. Plus it knocks them back a bit. Nope. Think fast. Ooh. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're gonna heal up a little bit. Right, I think we got this. Oh, fuck again. Right, hopefully that will finish him off. Shit, not quite. One more. There we go. You win! Perfect! You win! My face! <laughs> My beautiful face! Very well. You've won this one. It quite literally is Street Fighter, like right down to the victory screen. That's amazing. Right, okay then. Uh, who should I pl pick next? I feel like I'm gonna save this one for last. This one's great. Uh, also, to answer your question, Zachary, this is the big chunk as I was speaking of. Jackie Lil Loki, J Jackie Loki, I think. Let's do Tulahan. This one sounds fun. Tulahan from Russia. Special techniques: arm lock and cross heel holds. A toverish of a great superpower. This special forces operator trained relentlessly in the art of assassination and hand-to-hand -hand combat. He can render the most powerful opponents helpless by striking at their joints and other weak points with deadly precision. Okay. Okay. Fools and children fight with their fists. <laughs> Come. I'll show you how civilized warriors make their opponents submit. Guys, it's fucking Russian guile. That's great. I love that. Th this game is so good. Just when I think I've seen everything, then I get to see this. I'm really, I'm really curious now about the voice acting for, like, you know, Matt, what was his name again? Like, the Hulk Hogan parody? Can I reach him from here? No, I can't. Right. Well, let's see how well Spiral Knee does against him. Yeah, decent. But without further Right, look, pin jam my kick. Let's push him back a bit. If you intend to carry on like that, then I'll have to attempt. I underestimated you. No longer. <laughs> Am I actually about to beat this guy without taking the hat? Oh my god, I did that. Didn't get hit once. Oh, comrade! My techniques! Right, well, there you go. You win! Even with my superior grappling technique, you outwitted me. Well done. You forgot his moves? Oh shit, I completely forgot about that mechanic. You know what? We might not even need it. Hopefully. I was so caught up in his Russian accent, I forgot that was even something you could do. Uh, let's see. Let's let's do this guy then. Jackie Lakia from USA. Special techniques: a lola slap and mano toss. In sumo, were the most mighty and physically dominant athletes vie for supremacy. This Hawaiian wrestler was hailed a once-in-a-generation talent, 
After failing to achieve his lifelong dream of becoming a Yokozuna, however, he renounced the sport and resolved instead to conquer the mixed martial arts worlds. Can I fight him again? Oh, you can fight them again, right? Okay, then. Fools and children, come. <laughs> that was unintentional, but okay. <laughs> right, okay, let's let's actually take damage this time. Focus now. We've only just begun. Yeah! Cross heel hold lands. You need the moves to progress. Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, if it's like that crucial to the game, then probably. Nope, don't do that. Ah, fuck. I don't think my character can move right now. There we go, gut punch. No, that wasn't it. You did this. Damn it. Did he have another move? I wasn't paying attention to his... Okay, yeah, it was the arm lock. That was it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm kind of in a, a bit of a bind right now. Free counter, there we go. If you intend to carry on like that, then I'll have to attempt. There. Oh. Uh, one second, please. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, let's push him back again. I underestimated you. No longer. Damn it. Oof. Alright. Right, I think I got this. Right, there we go. My techniques were not enough. <sighs> you win, even with my superior grappling technique. Can I save the game? Oh, I can, right, okay. Yeah, I probably want to do that. Right, so... Right, we got their two techniques. And we got those two techniques. Right, okay, so we're, we're doing good so far. 
Let's do Jackie Loki. Or Ayakia. Sorry if that was a lowercase L for some reason. Alola Slap and Manotos are the two that I'm looking for here. Okay. Oh, looking for a fight? Ha! Bring it on! I've never lost to a man of Japan! And if you think a sumo's all brawn and no finesse, you're in for a wake-up call! Aren't sumo supposed to be a thing in Japan and not in Hawaii? Like, that's weird. All right, there's Manotoss. Just need to get a Lola slap now. Nope, that ain't it. Cool, you missed. I'm just going to try this out of curiosity. Alright, well there's some pushback, that's good I guess. There it is. Okay. Okay, he's vulnerable to this. Holy shit, yeah, that does a good bad damage. You're stronger than an ogre? What a weird thing for a sumo wrestler to be seeing. So yeah, it's kind of like Mega Man in the sense that some moves are like more effective against other enemies. Alright, cool. You win! Oh boy, that's deep. But you got me. Put on a little weight, and you might have a shot at making Yokozuna! <laughs> Alright, so we've taken out about half of these fighters, so I think I'm gonna save here. And what I'm gonna do next is... We're going to return to chapter select and come back to this one. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the presentation of that one where it's set up like a fighting tournament, like a fighting video game, you know, Street Fighter and whatnot. So yeah, we'll come back to that. I don't, I don't think like Six Fighters is the entire thing. I think that's like maybe like the first tournament you do and then there's like another one after that. But yeah, we'll come back to that. The near future, right, we'll do this one and then we'll do the Wild West. One day soon, but not yet, a rebellious youth that lives a hard life, getting into trouble and picking fights because he knows what others are thinking. A rough routine, but one to which he's grown accustomed. Oops, wrong button. However, his power eventually leads him to become involved in a dark conspiracy, which can only be stopped through a resurrection of an ancient robot king, the Steel Titan. Okay, so this one may be more JRPG-ish than I thought the previous one was. Like, the previous one I was, like, present day, and it's like, oh, okay, so it's, like, a normal, like, timeline, but no, it wasn't. It was more like a fucking Rocky movie. So tell me, you happy with your Latin life? Glad to hear it. That being said, you could spare a thought for folks who haven't got it good as you, you know?
Not to get too preachy, though I suppose I kind of did. But hear me out, just a little longer. All right. So is this game Switch exclusive for now, or is this multi-platform? I'm not even sure. Oh shit. No! Wake up, Dad! Come on! Please! But he didn't. I got there just in time to see the light leave my father's eyes. He was a cop. Riot police. A decorated officer who had been tasked with taking down a notorious biker gang. The Crusaders. I doubt he had any idea I might turn out like this when he left for work that morning. I looked up to him. He was my hero. He sacrificed so much. And then... Okay, everyone. We have some new friends joining us today. Go on and introduce yourself to the others. Akira. And this is his little sister, Cowdy. Now, I want you all to do everything to make them feel welcome, okay? Akira and Cowdy? Okay. Yes, miss! What was that, Watanabe? Uh, yes, miss! It was around the time Cowdy and I were sent to Bright Sparks Orphanage that I first noticed I was... different. That I'd begun to develop some strange powers. I found that I could read people's minds, and even make things move without touching them. It was as easy as pushing a button, and just like that, I could hear their inner thoughts, loud and clear. I like how they just, like fucking stick a, a, a switch graphic there in the middle of the dialogue just for that. Oh god. Yeah, just like that. So tell me, if you had the power to read people's minds, how would you use it? As for me, well... Okay then, so I'm guessing that's going to be the central mechanic for this particular chapter. The near future, the outsider. What's your deal? Do I know you? 
Ah, this park is the perfect place to kick back and relax. Hey, I don't want no trouble, kid. Can't you just leave me be? Right, so this kid right here... What are you actually thinking? Sure, could we go for a ta 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 taiyaki? Takiyaki? I don't, I don't know. Being a salesman isn't all bad. I could never get away with playing hooky like this if I was chained to a desk. I'll bet this kid's one of those biker hooligans. Where is his skull helmet? Alright. Oh. Duxy. Well, it's a burp, but close enough. Who's tending to this, like, food stand? Seriously? You're such a cheapskate! Italian by the Bay Bridge. It'll be like hitting up Ju... 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 Juliana? Ju Juliana in Hawaii. When the time is right. No idea what's bugging her, but it seems like it's a pretty big deal. Feel not its dating guide. Don't feel me now. <laughs> what do you want? Mum said not to talk to strangers. He must have been one of those creeps that Mum warned me about. A kidnapper. <laughs> okay then. Is that one of the biker gang with, like, skull helmets? Yep. Akira has the unique power to read the minds of others. Press Y when near people to hear the secrets that they would never speak aloud and learn surprising truths that may offer you valuable insights. Didn't think I'd meet the quota, but this kid ought to do the trick. Screw you and your quota. I'm not going anywhere with you losers. What did you say to me?! Kids? Goddamn kids? Since when did the Crusaders start snatching kids? Who the hell are you? Who am I? Isn't it obvious? I'm a local businessman! Okay. And just like that, we're in our first battle already. I can heal myself as well. Attack. Confuse enemies with their thoughts of their mum so they lose the will to fight. Okay. Let's give that a try.
let's do this one. guy is strong as fuck. Who wants some more of this? So that dude's name is Lawless. Okay. <sighs> Thanks, man. I owe you one. You better watch your back, kid. Those punks have been acting weird lately. More like stupid. Trying to snatch an orphan. No one's gonna pay my ransom. Uh, how's your sis doing? Kari? She's cool. She's... Ugh, my head. Took a hit, huh? Come on, saddle up. I'll give you a lift. Thanks, Matsu. But seriously, why do you think those guys came after me? I knew they were involved. I knew it. Disappearing all those folks. This proves it. Yeah, it's basically Power Rangers. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, what's it called in Japan? Super Sentai? It's basically just Super Sentai. Oh, hey there, Cray. Let's fighting love! Stay out of the game for me. Wait, Matsu. I was gonna answer your question, but then I got interrupted by a Japanese anime anime intro. And in why don't if I don't like cars, how do I get to places? I take a bus. Okay. I'm not sure why you're being such a stickler for like poking and prodding at this like one particular like thing. You can, you know. Maybe actually just talk like a normal person now and just not do that anymore. I don't know, you, like, you, keep, you keep asking me about stuff like this, it's like, okay. Why not come inside? Say hi yourself. You're already here. Peace. Anyway, whatever. Uh, 
Hold on a minute. Did I get any new equipment? I guess not. No, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I've been quite enjoying Live Alive so far. Like, this is the sixth chapter out of the seven available chapters that I'm playing. The only one I've not done yet is Wild West, which I don't know if I'll get to that tonight. If not, I'll probably do that next time I stream this. I do want to start playing Pokemon Legends in like half an hour or so. Kyori's finally settled down to sleep, so don't disturb her now, will you? Been fighting again, have we? What are we going to do with you? Tarokichi. You can't die. Okay. When you get back to Legends Arcase, I recommend filling out the Pokédex before you start the post-game quests. Alright then, be sure to remind me when I actually start playing that then. I haven't played that game in months, so I need to get back into it. When did I, like, last play that game? Like, March? I think. Oh, it's a schoolhouse, right, I see. Seeing if there's any loose equipment about. Just grab a fucking sword that's like in a drawer somewhere. Even though it's a schoolhouse, but nah, I don't think there is. Wait, what's this? Wash hands. Okay. So you can do that for some reason. Quick, quick, wrestling's on. I want to see Misawa. Misawa, you're so cool. Can't get a handle on her thoughts. The rest is a blur. Hey, bro, you get your butt kicked? Give me a heads up next time and I'll back you up. They wouldn't have stood a chance if I'd been there. Hey, Akira, why do you always get into fights? Don't you realize how much it stressed Takio when... Takeo when she sees how you've come all, home all messed up? Akira. Not cool, dude. Quit trying to read my mind. <laughs> okay, so they're aware I can do this shit. Go look around Taiko's room for something to patch me up, would you? But I'll miss wrestling! His hair does look a bit like Yugi's, yeah. One to Nabi's taking the sweet time. Okay. Save. I don't know where they disappeared to. The 
this room maybe? Oh, there you are. She put it? I'll be watching TV, so bring back whatever you find when you find it. How come he never asks anyone for help? Okay. Wait, did I talk to him regularly? Oh, that's right, okay. It's time for the long-awaited National Wrestling Showdown! And boy, do we have a matchup for you today! In the red corner, Miss Sour the Menacing! And in the blue corner, Muta the Merciless! Yeah, just stand right in front of the, the TV, blocking the view for everyone else. These two legends of the ring throw down! Prepare yourselves for the unprecedented! A no holds barred, no round limit fight to the finish! And there's the gong signaling the beginning of this legendary bout! Okay. Not cool, Yuki. He's still hurting. Huh? I barely touched him. Everybody calm down and stop fighting about fighting. Here, I found something to patch you up. Huh? What's this? Whoa, a first aid kit. What a bitch. Oh, by the way, I heard Kaori's pretty upset. Seems Tarokichi's sick or something. You know about Tarokichi, right? The turtle Kazu caught for her a while back. Cares more about a turtle than she does about me. Oof. Okay, so that dialogue's unchanged. Let's go find them real quick. I guess they're down this way. We haven't really got to much combat yet. I guess there's just a lot of story build up for this particular chapter, which I'm okay with. Don't expect me to do a lot of combat in this section tonight. Oh, okay. We got like an overworld thing going on here. Cool. Oh. Yeah, probably don't want to run into these guys. Uh oh. This is a research facility. You got an appointment with someone? Hell no. This ain't no place for kids. 
Alright, well I can't go that way. I guess I should run into those biker gang guys so that I can, you know, get more experience, so let's do it. Yeah, I love how the, the sheer amount of variety in this game. In some battles, groups of enemies may be led by a leader. By defeating a single foe, you can over overpower the remaining ones and force them to retreat. Okay. In the near future chapter, the Flea Command is replaced by Teleport in battle. Like Flea, you can use this to attempt your escape... To use this to attempt... Eh. Use this to attempt to escape your enemies, but you have yet to master it, so there's no telling where you'll end up. Oh, okay. So I might end up in a different part of the city if I use that? Right, I get it. Can I use Mother Shame on the fucking remote control cars? Does that even work? Apparently it does. Oh wow. That actually worked. I'll do a few fights and then I'll start looking for my next objective. One to level up at least once. It sounded like he said, fuck it! Who's a badass? Try teleport. Uh, let me level up first before I do that. One more fight should do it. Oh, we got some different robots this time. So yeah, M Mother Shame has like a ridiculous amount of range. Fuck it! Who's a badass? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Robotic enhancement. Behind you learned. Alright, well I got a move called Behind You. Okay, so I'm on the very, like, western side of the city, so we'll try teleporting here. And we'll see where I end up. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna fight these enemies because that's a lot of experience that I'm gonna be giving up. Right, this should do it. I mean, look at that. I got so much experience from killing all those guys. Right, so we'll, we're at the, the, the southern side of town, so we'll see where we end up after a teleport this time. Alright Mario, it's time to do a teleport! That was a great teleport, Mario. Okay, so I'm back here again. I guess there's a random chance that you get sent somewhere else in town. No, I'm still here. I'm gonna level up one more time, because we're close to leveling up. Behind you. Freak out enemies so they turn around and look for... look for other threats. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with Mother's Shame. This one has been working wonders for these guys. 
Not just for them, but also the robots. Easy as hell. So close. Right, we'll go to my objective after this fight. Shut up already. Who's a badass? <laughs> yeah. Sleep in heaven, land. All right. New move. Just when you thought Fecal Funny was done for tonight, nope, here's some more. this game. I love it, but what is this game? What brings you here today? Well, you see. What's that you say? Your sister's title is dying? Well, you just leave it to me, boy. There's more to old Tobey than broken old clocks and antiques. Let me assure you, I'm a Tsukuma educated professional after all, and by leveraging their advanced techniques, as well as my personal research into long forgotten technologies, I will imbue your sister's precious Taroimo with new life. Time is of the essence. We will teleport ourselves to the orphanage using my matter transmitter in the basement. I feel like this is going to go horribly, horribly wrong, and it's going to be like fucking Chrono Trigger. Feast your eyes, my boy, as I demonstrate the sheer power of science! First I'll set the coordinates, and then... Settle down. I'll have this up and running shortly. What are you doing? Get down from there immediately. Jesus. I guess the machine rejects people that have got, like, you know, telepathic powers. Looks like today's not my day. You better go on ahead, my boy. I knew it'd be dangerous.
Right, okay then. Uh, I mean, my, my house wasn't even that far away. I could just, like, walk back there. I don't know why he was so adamant about us using his, like, matter transporter machine when it was, like, you know, the destination is just a few blocks away. Lazy motherfucker. Right, so we're approaching the two-hour mark, so I'm going to be moving on to Pokemon Legends in just a few minutes. So, what did he say? Doc Tobey's on the way. I'm pretty sure he's got a plan. That was quick. Hi, everybody! Sorry I'm late. Troubled with the matter transmitter. Too much quantum. Uh, or too little. In any event, I opted for a less scientific means of locomotion. I walked. <laughs> now, allow me to examine this alien amphibian and reptile of yours. Great Scott! Little Teroimo is on his last legs! Liquefaction is our only recourse. Unfortunately, I came prepared. The this fuck? machine will serve as a host for his liquefacted essence. Taraimo will live again through the power of science. They're just gonna transfer his like life matter into this giant turtle robot? What the fuck? You're turning the turtle into a robot? Indeed. I'll just affix these electrodes to his body. Be a dear and plug this power cable. Uh, okay. Let's hope there isn't a power cut. I'm sure there's a socket here somewhere. Ah, there it is. You Let's fucking see. live here, you should know where it is, dumbass. Oh god. Don't just stand there, help him! Fucking get a broom or something, push him away. Okay. <laughs> right, well I get I guess the turtle is now in this robot. Okay, apparently the turtle understands English. Oh. Hey. Quit following me. They have become your new best friends. Uh, hang on one second. I'm just gonna turn my air conditioner off. Like, I think my microphone was picking up on that a little bit. Right, okay, well, I got a new party member, apparently. Let me turn that down. Right, uh Yeah, I have a I have a robot fella with me now. But he's fine. Isn't science marvelous? But wait. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe. Just maybe. The steel titan might also be a centaur. I'm assuming Akira does not know what the Steel Titan is yet in this story. Settle down, children. It's time for your afternoon nap. Let's 
Like I need an afternoon nap. What am I, a baby? Bab. Where are you? Okay, well I don't know where the fuck he went. Did he leave the house? Come to think of it, I didn't put Wantanabe to work hunting... D didn't I put Wantanabe to work hunting down a certain something? Uh... Yeah, so we just have a big fucking robot turtle following us around. No biggie. Now, have you washed your hands properly? Hmm, I've not seen Kenichi in a while. Don't forget to wash your hands, I guess. Huh? What's this? Whoa, a shampoo hat! Wait, what? That's actual armor you can wear? Oh, okay. Sure, why not? Actually, wait, can I put that on the robot? I think the robot might need it more than me. Yeah, sure, he can have that. Uh, this is dumb. Hey, fecal funny. I like it's just cross legged and everything. Fecalfunny.com If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, don't worry about it. So yeah, all the other kids are asleep. So wait, where the fuck is he? Is he back in this room? No? to go that way for some reason. Uh, did I miss something? Thanks. Kazu filled the room with his silent stinkers again. Anyway, you got snacks on you? Nah. Nah, sorry. I'm holding on to my stuff for now, meanie. Alright, well fuck you too then. Come by the rock washroom later. We can discuss our plan there. You got something for me? Not this time. Guess I should go to the washroom then. Uh. You think you have an idea? What is it? Yeah, the laundry's done. Oh, I think I had to, like, wait until she was done with that. There's two, two doors that I missed. Oh. I didn't see- I didn't realise there was a door there. No, no, Lawless Matsu wouldn't get into scraps at the drop of a hat. 
If only he knew how much we owe to that young man. SNN News. Authorities have received more than 1,500 missing person reports since the start of this year. Oh, you're right, it is sparkling. I didn't even notice. The matron's crochet. Uh, that's probably not worth the trade off there. But the special attack goes way down if I put that on. Yeah, no. It's garbage. It's garbage! Wait, what did that say? Oh, okay, so I should go back to the washroom. Sorry for a whole lot of nothing going on right now. This is the washroom, right? Or... Are they talking about this? God, God damn it. Okay, th that's how you do it. I can increase the text speed because I'm noticing that the auto text thing like finishes before it even like fully spells it out sometimes. Can I change that? I don't think you can actually. Oh no wait you can. I'll be wrapping up this segment shortly. I'm just gonna wait until I'm like able to leave the house and then I can save. Let me go try going outside, see if there's a hint. But I guess I have to like wait again. Okay, here he is. I actually have pocket lint as an item. I still can't believe he seriously thought that that's what I wanted. And what the hell is that smell? It's an effect item? I don't know what that does. Not exactly my style, but I can see why Taco would rock it. <laughs> why would I? Holy shit, why does my special defense go down by 20 points if I hold this? The fuck? No, I'm, I'm not putting that on, thanks. Wow, a lot of this gear is garbage. I mean, sure. I mean, it's an improvement. I'll take it. Why not? Right, I think we're all done here, hopefully. Wait, again? Got 
something for you. Right, better get going. Taiko's picture. I gave her a hard time, but she's been good to me. Maybe I'll keep it in my breast pocket. So wait, is this like... No. Can't, can't, like, do that. I mean, it doesn't really change anything, so sure. Jesus Christ, how much stuff is this person getting for me? Oh, here we go. What are you two doing in there? Let me guess, you're making him do your dirty work again. Am I right? Honestly, grow up. Oof. Huh? What's this? Did I just get a fucking salt? What did you do that for? Did I just fucking slap him? Oh, hi, turtle robot. I forgot about you there for a second. Tycho's furious fist. Concentrated rage of a teacher who's sick of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's great. I love it. Yeah, I'm putting that on. Wait a minute, that's not it. Oh yeah, that goes way up. Right, cool. Actually... No, he can't take it. Right, that, that's fair enough. Right, I think we're... yeah, we can... we can leave now. Right, so I'm gonna stop here. As much as I want to continue this, I do want to move on to Pokemon Legends, so... I'm really enjoying this so far, this is a lot of fun. So, next time I play this, we'll do the Western one and we'll, like, revisit some of the chapters we played in the demo. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me play this. Live Alive is really good. I love the sheer variety and, like, the amount of stuff you can do in this game, and how every, like, chapter feels distinct and unique. So yeah, we will do more of this at some point later in the week, I would imagine.